There's so much you can do with the clay enrichments, especially those with LinkedIn. So in this video, I want to cover how you can use clay and LinkedIn to calculate how long a prospect has been in their role, to summarize their career history, then also find three recent LinkedIn posts that they may have shared and also summarize the themes of the things that they're sharing. Now, what you need to do first of all is go into Clay and you need to have some LinkedIn profiles. I've put some in here already. Then you want to use the Clay Enrichment, which is to enrich person from LinkedIn profile. This will cost one credit per row. And what you'll be, the output will be the name, first name, latest company, the experience, and all the information that you may need. You can actually select more information here by going to edit column, edit columns again, and you can add any of these information. So maybe you want their education, maybe you want awards, courses that they've completed, etc. And that will still cost you the same one credit. So you can actually get all of this information uh, per prospect for one credit. But first of all, let's see how to calculate how long a prospect has been in their role. So we've got their latest experience. They started at this date and um, now I've got a formula here. So if I go to edit column, essentially this formula allows us to work out if they have been in the company for less than one year to output less than one, if it's between one and two, if it's between less or more than one and two years. So let me just show you, I'll create another one here. So let's go and set left and I want to do a formula, calculate the length So you can see I've just added in this prompt. If I click generate the formula, I haven't done it the full prompt here. It's going to tell me the output, the suggested output based on the formula. So I don't know how to write this formula for being completely honest with you, but what you'll see is that it does it uses AI to actually generate the formula here. I can check that the output is correct. If it's correct, I can save the formula. This is the step I did before. So I'm not going to save that for now, uh, but that's how you get to see their how long they've been in their role. Then we've got the summary. Now this is the about section. Not every profile has information on their about section, but it just pulls it through from LinkedIn. However, what I wanted to do was to calc is to understand the different roles they've had, the different industries and different companies. So using my own API key for OpenAI, I've asked the Clayagent here, using the LinkedIn profile, summarize the first name's career experience, note the specific job requirement, job roles and departments, companies and industries they have worked in. Keep the output short, concise, and also under 100 words. I'm just using the GPT-4.0 here. So if I have a look here, this will now show me that Erin is the America's Marketing Director at Beyond Trust. She's held roles such as Field Marketing Manager, uh, Marketing Manager again. Previously, her roles include Senior Public Sector Field Marketing Specialist. So if we go down to the next one, this person is a growth marketing leader at Witness AI. She has worked as a growth marketing consultant and director of Demand Gen. Um, previously, she has worked in Demand Gen at Imperva. So I'm getting a really good summary of this person's prof of this person's work experience. Now I could use this in many ways throughout the sales process or for prospecting as well. Um, so then the last thing I want to show you is how to find most re the three most recent job posts. So this is a, the find recent posts by user. And what we have here is the LinkedIn profile. So it will go and search the profile and see the last three, um, the last three posts that they've they've done. Now actually, it finds um, a ten or five or ten different results. But what I wanted to do was just pull out the last three. So if you can see here, here's the last five results. I've gone through here and then I've clicked add as column. So let me show you if I want to increase that to four now. So let's look at the uh, fourth result, which is here. So actually I want to add this as a column. So add as column, post four, create column. And then I want to also include the URL as well. So let's go down here, add as column and call it post four URL, create column. So if I have a look over here, it's added it automatically to the columns here and I've got the most recent post or the fourth most recent post. Now. It's all fair and well seeing these, you can have a look, but obviously it's gonna be pretty random with what they're saying. But what I want to understand is what themes do they talk about and what things do they share on LinkedIn? So I've used OpenAI for this. So I'm gonna edit the column here. And I'm saying based on the three most recent LinkedIn posts found here, provide a summary of the core themes and topics they post about. 
output in short, concise bullet points. Now, in this video, I just created a, the fourth host here as well. So let's go post four. And now I'm gonna link this and insert the column. It's almost like a merge tag in an email. Insert the column for post four. So let's do that. The text, click save. I'm gonna save and run 10 rows. And whilst that is updating, so this is updating, you can see that here in clay, I'm going to add in some more prospects. I'm going to look at a few more LinkedIn profiles, which I've copied over here. So now I've got these additional LinkedIn profiles and Clay is going to do this all automatically for me. So I've got Camille, I've got Stephanie, they're all adding in here and it will take a little bit of time to calculate everything. But let's go back to have a look at the, um, the LinkedIn post themes. So if I have a look here, this person, can't remember the prospect name, so they post about job openings and job opportunities, company events, achievements and authorizations and company culture. Again, I can use this in many different ways throughout the sales process, or even if I'm just preparing for a call, I can also look at this to, to reference some of the things that they've been posting. So another one here, we've got promotions and personal achievements, agreements with international agencies, accolades received. So here is the really great theme summary of all of the different posts on LinkedIn. Now you can do a, a lot more with LinkedIn. Uh, important to note here as well, actually, that not everybody will post on LinkedIn often or frequently. So sometimes it will have no posts found, which is totally fine. But then let's have a look at this new person, Camille. So Camille is currently Director of Content Marketing at Dragos. She's held multiple roles in content, so she really knows her stuff around in content. Her career began with technical writing, so she's actually a copywriter as well and she has extensive experience in cybersecurity, SaaS, industrial automation. So really good insights into this individual. Again, I could use this for sending cold emails if I want to customize, personalize my emails on this. I would need to further refine the results in Clay to get the thing that I may want to merge into the, the tag. Um, it could be that they've booked a call with me and I want to research them a little bit more as well before the call to get an understanding of their of their background and experience. As I said, you can do a lot more with Clay, but in this video, I just wanted to show you the LinkedIn enrichments for working out how long a prospect has been in their role, which is here. Then also um, summarizing their career history and then looking at recent posts and summarizing the themes of those recent posts. If you wanted to use this yourself, you can simply make, I'll make a copy of this table. So you, all you'll need to do is add in the LinkedIn profiles, connect your OpenAI um, API key, and it will run for you. But yeah, just a, a real quick video of highlighting some of the LinkedIn enrichments in Clay. All right, enjoy.